Hey everyone, welcome back to Cow Frontline. Jay here with another review. Today I'm reviewing Star Wars number seven. It was written by Jason Aaron, art by Simon Bianchi, and colors by Justin Ponsor. Luke reads an excerpt from o the journal of Obi Wan Kenobi, who writes about how he had given up being a Jedi and then how a young Luke inspired him to return in a way. So, um, I really liked the story. I felt like I was hearing Obi-Wan's voice throughout the narration, which is very important for a book which is based on characters that we have grown to know and love in other medias, such as animated animation or films, TV, stuff like that. And we've got to know who Ben Kenobi is. We got to hear his voice. And Star Wars fans, that voice is very clearly heard in your vo in your head whenever you read well done Star Wars stuff and this is very well done you hear Obi-Wan's voice in your head you you hear, and I, I don't know about everyone but I heard classic Obi-Wan Kenobi you know um, not the prequel Obi-Wan Kenobi not the animated Obi-Wan but the classic original trilogy Obi-Wan and that was really great that means that for me Jason Aaron has really done his job on this book um, I really loved how we saw that, how he was trying to deal with not being a Jedi anymore, but at the same time, he still had this obligation to protect Luke, and then it was Luke who taught him a lesson, and at the end, we see Luke react, reacting a little bit to that, so I really liked that, that um, connectivity to it all. So the story was absolutely perfect. It was flawless. I give the story five stars. The art... This is kind of my um, my one downfall of the story because I I think I got so spoiled by John Cassidy in the first arc doing that image that um, arc that looks just like it's jumped out of the movies and it gave me an instant you know notification this is these characters this is a Star Wars book you're reading you're right into it but the art was not bad. I just thought it lacked the detail that John Cassidy's art did. And at times, I could really see that this was like Obi-Wan Kenobi. And I think as the artist, um, Simon Bianchi, finds the way through the art, we would get more noticeable art, um, more noticeable character images. So I think we can do that. And Because um, I saw times where Obi-Wan looked so much like the actors. So... Um, I'm giving the art, though, four stars. Overall, a really great read. I'm really loving Star Wars underneath Marvel, which was something that a lot of people were worried about how they were going to do it since Dark Horse did such a stellar job. But I think Marvel is really knocking Star Wars out of the park, at least with the main title. The other titles, you know, there are different waves of them because some I really love, some I'm not so crazy about. But Star Wars has always been a thumbs up for me. So with five stars for the story, four stars for the art, I'm giving this an overall of four and a half stars. And I say pick it up. Whether you're a Star Wars fan or not, there's something in here for you. And I, I really like the journey that they're taking um, with this book. So once again, four and a half stars, pick it up. Well, those are my thoughts. Now I want to know yours in the comments below. Also, like this video, subscribe to Comic Frontline. Check out and subscribe to my channel, The Comic Book Theater. Check out ComicFrontline.com, the site, for all the latest previews, reviews, news, and interviews, along with fun, unique features with daily updates. And don't forget to like and follow me, The Comic Book Theater, Media Manus, and Comic Frontline on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and download Frontline Live every week on iTunes for free. I'll include all these links in the description below. Until then, I'll catch you in the next review.